hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so if you are new to this channel i'm very grateful for you passing by and then if you're a returning subscriber i want to thank you very much for the continuous support for the continuous love i'm very grateful so in today's video we want to enter into the university of calabar as you guys can see we are entering into the university of calabar i want to thank you guys to every department and just like a tour around the university of calabar so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe and then if you are returning subscribe i'm also grateful so let's go guys thank you so it rained today and you guys can see that the ground is all wet i had to make this video on a saturday when there are fewer students in the school like no more students in the school so let's go guys we are using the unical taxi to proceed for this journey because any other vehicle is illegal for this tour so according to my research the university of calabar grew out from the university of nigeria and soka which is called unn the university of calabar was established in the year 20th october 1975. the short form for university of calabar is unical and is located in and this university is a second generation university in nigeria also so if you guys don't know university of calabar has a motto which is called knowledge for service so this is the college bus stop so when you come to any car and you see this bus stop this is called the college bus stop. so currently we are heading to this is the black and white field a very big field where they play ball then opposite it is the catholic church the St. Paul's Catholic Church and the Chapel of Redemption Catholic Church. So I'm not really able to capture it well like that. So don't mind my camera, the cloud is really affecting it. But I'm going to be attaching something little opposite it here. So anytime that the cloud affects my camera, you will see a clear view at the bottom of the video. So can you guys see the black and white field? So that's where many sports activities in Unical take place. So currently this road is leading to Malabo and then this building that's where the male hostel and some female hostel are located and then some little little important halls are also. So the architecture that designed University of Calabar is called John Elliot. So he is the architecture that designed this university when you come to unical the female are called malabres and the males are called malabites so as we are moving forward i'll be using arrows to show you the different departments or different halls that you will see in unical so you guys will stay put and anyway i will chip in something important i'm also going to say it So in this area, we will see the love garden and the prayer garden. In that garden there, well, we are not able to capture it well. Then this is the hall 8. I'm going to make a proper hostel tour. Yeah, I'm going to make a proper hostel tour and also put it in my channel for Unical though. Because Unical has different halls, especially for the female hostel. I think there are up to five or six of them. I'm going to make a proper tour of all of them and then put. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do well to subscribe so that you will enjoy more of these kind of videos. So this place we are is called Edu Block, like the Edu environment. Yeah, there you will see the engineering department, the law, especially the law department. I think they have up to five or four buildings in this unical you see the in a lot of places you see the educational auditorium they have one and two and the hall is really very big it's a really very big hall mostly what is done in that hall is being lectures are being taken in the hall and also exams especially exams are also written in that hall so unical or university of calabar has its own ranking in the world, Unical is ranking 
like number 3428 in the world and in africa it's ranking 82 in africa and then in nigeria unica is ranking top 15 in nigeria and also in calabar is ranking number one out of all the universities that are in calabar so if you are thinking of coming to unica it's also a nice place to come for studies yeah So we are getting very close can you guys see it this is the e-library the unica e-library in this place you will see the libraries the different libraries and there are some people that their department are there also and you also see the computer that's where you see computers yeah so especially if you are writing your pursuit tme or you are writing your exams especially for edc and gss so that's where we normally come and write the exam at this e-library, Unica e-library. So that building we just passed is called the CED department. So in that building or in that department, that's where the JUPEP students take lectures. That's their lecture hall. And Unica also run a JUPEP program. So if you are coming to Unica for your JUPEP program, that is where you will normally be taking your class. So we are getting very close to the biological science department. Can you guys see it? This is their faculty. Then looking forward, that's the road leading to Cameroon. Cameroon is an eatery or will I say a restaurant in Unical. It's kind of out of Unical as it is, but it's still inside Unical. From that place, you can see the river. Yeah, you can see the river very close to that environment. And normally, if you want to eat you go there and eat they sell nice food there also so all this nslt hall you are seeing mostly is lecture hall when i was in my year one we normally used to come to this place for lectures mostly so that is just for lecture hall and also they used to come here and study at night yeah during night class but i no longer come here because normally in the night it's not really that too sharp many people now are now going to the newly built paths as i showed you before the path one path two and path three so that's where mostly people used to come for night studies
is where college is where you see the faculty of basic medical science and many other things you see all these different departments and listing out you see all of them there then that building i just enlarged that's where the med lab is that the med lab department and this is the newly built path one department uh the building is finer um compared to how it was before Let me take you guys to the almighty medicals. So this is the VC gate. We are going to cross this gate. I showed you guys the VC gate. I'm going to show you guys the road. So this is the road leading to the VC office. So as we are going forward, you guys will not notice it because I caught it. But the security in Unical is very high because there was a time I was making a research and I saw that Unical was written among one of the highest crime rate university or let's say cultism university but i'm here to correct that because the security in unica have increased as we are making this video the security drove forward to ask us questions so imagine if it was a private vehicle that we were using to make this video you know we are already in the problem but since it's the unical taxi we, we are safe so i'm here to correct that adage that unica is one of the cultism highest cultism university the, you guys can see that the security in unica now is now very very high and tight the unica students which are the malabites and the malabresses they normally call this place the father of unica reason why it's called the father of unica is before we had those down buildings or other buildings that we passed this was where everything started both the vc office both the department's office everything was here before the buildings before Unica started developing other buildings and also department and they are still developing and they are still building more so that's the reason why it is called the father of Unica so here you will see both the postgraduate hostel the female hostel and also the medical and surgery hostel that is called hall 2 there you will see inside this hall 2 you will see different eateries restaurants so that's where mostly the lecturers used to come here and have their meal and many other even students used to come and then if you are buying anything from jumia and you put unical for where you will go and collect it that inside that hall too which is the medical hostel that's where you will go and pick up your package so if you look in front you see a gate that gate is called small gates vehicle don't pass there the only place vehicle enters into unical is true that main gate and also through that unical secondary school side because of security yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this tour of unical and you guys can see that unical is also beautiful a very beautiful university i haven't been to a lot of university but because of this i'm going to show more of other universities i'll try to meet mostly the universities in the southeast and the south south with time as time goes forward so if you haven't subscribed again please do well to hit the subscribe button join our family i'm very grateful and you guys can see we are heading back to main gate so we are already coming to an end of this tour thank you very much for the support and for watching also love you and also remain blessed